So he's ready to race, coming off of great nationals. We're going to show go. you the swimmers in this heat in lane one. We got that's Jack, Jack Galbraith. Oh, excuse sorry. me, this is Sorry. you. It's I'm all you, Jason. So we got we got Jack Galbraith in lane one from Machine. We got Luke DeRocher from Nation's Capital. His teammate Stephen Thalblum will be in lane three. Our top qualifier, Philip Maniff, coming in with a 48-42 from Nation's Capital. Reese Whitley from Penn Charter in lane five. Hopefully he remembers to do dolphin kick and not breaststroke kick. Hopefully. Hopefully we don't see any pullouts on, uh, instead of uh, <laughs> underwater dolphin kick. Colin Riley in lane six from Penn Charter. And Brandon Hablin from Nation's Capital will be in lane seven. His teammate Hugh Roby will be in lane eight. All six, eight of them right there in lane five, just towers over these guys that are, you know, 17, 18 years old. You know, they're, they're Most teenagers are not as tall as they're not. They're not NBA uh, height quite yet. Clean start. Good start by Reese. Look at, he has, for a breaststroker, he has some nice underwaters. And as we were mentioning, that's going to pay dividends in college. We saw, he's, he's a future Cal Bear. We saw a current slash past, slash past Cal Bear win the 100 fly at Nationals last week. And that was Josh Perneau, who you think of as a breaststroker. Breast and I am, but, can but throw his fly's down pretty a good. good. Fly, yeah. um, so, you know, it's not that unusual for a flyer to spread his wings a little bit. 22-7-4, Whitley's out first, but Thalblum is right there as well in lane number two. But you know if it's close, Whitley can get to the wall with those long arms. Manoff coming great through there underwaters. in lane four, but you're right, great underwaters from Whitley as he's just ahead of Thalblum. Manoff there as well as they come into the wall. Whitley trying to hold him off and he will, 48-2-6 for Reese Whitley. Thalblum 48-5-3 and Manoff 48-7-3. And now Reese turns his attention to tomorrow's 200 fly. Twice the distance, twice the pain, maybe, eh, maybe four times the pain.